Hello YouTube, today is just a quick update on Little Steen, maybe some other tanks, not sure. But as you can see, the tank is in disarray. I've been setting up for the 240 and all my tanks are getting severely neglected. But we'll check in on Little Steen and see how he's doing, so stay tuned. So first thing you can see is that he does have a belly. He hasn't eaten today yet, so it is nice that he has a belly. Uh, never had that before, before treating for tapeworms. So I think he is doing better. I apologize for the algae on the front of the glass. We'll get that taken care of. We're gonna do some tank maintenance, but I am gonna feed him first this time, since in every other video, for whatever reason, I decide to feed him after. And that's just not smart, because he gets a little angry after the tank maintenance. So I'm gonna throw some snails in here. See, uh, See how he does. Throw these in and then back up a bit. There he goes. Not gonna be the best footage with all the glare and algae. Yes, those are mystery snails. Don't hate me, that's why I got them. There he goes. He slowly picks away at the mystery snails. It takes him a while to get one of these big suckers. Of course, these are not full grown. Should be able to chomp that one up no problem. It's kind of funny how he plays with them like that. Tries to rip them out of there. So much glare. This is going to be a terrible video, but still fun. Still good to check in on little Steen here. He's kind of confused when he gets these bigger snails in there on how to how to attack them. I'm gonna let him finish this up once he's done eating. Oh, <laughs> come on, you can do it. Well, anyways, I'll give him a little time, and then I'll start the water change. And I'm not gonna do much in here, but at least get the front glass looking good. So I'll just give you a quick run around here on the tanks being a disaster. This one's actually not much of a disaster. I mean, there's algae in there, but there's always algae in there. This is probably the only one that's looking good. This one over here is doing pretty decent too, although the plants are starting to die back. I've been lazy with the fertilizers and the water change. Uh, the 40 breeder over here is still awful. The dirt tank down here is just awful. I've been neglecting so many of these tanks just trying to get the 240 in here and I figure once the 240 is in here then I can really focus the angelfish are doing awesome still haven't moved them out of the 20 the plan is to put the angelfish in the 240 as well so far they've been perfectly peaceful towards each other so I think they'll do just fine uh, not a lot going on over here there's a betta in here somewhere don't know somewhere in that mess Tanganyikans are doing great and of course, I did have a hang on back filter die on me. I was just bragging the other, what, like two weeks ago in a video that I've had that thing for almost two years. And of course, I'd mentioned it and then it broke the next day. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna start the water change over on Little Steen and I'll check back in. So as you can see, we're draining the water here. And I just wanna touch base again on why I'm letting my tanks go to crap like this. Basically, every single tank in this fish room is gonna be moved or tore down or switched up. So I'm just not focusing my energy on maintaining all these tanks. The water parameters are perfect, but when you don't keep up on water changes and ferts and things like that, the plants die back and it sucks, but they always grow back and it'll be a lot easier to move everything with less plants as well and to rescape and do all that and to start over. It's just easier than trying to keep plants alive through the whole process because this is going to be a long process, probably take most of the summer. But uh, that's kind of why I put it off for so long, but it's time to get to work, it's time to get it done. I'm gonna let this finish draining, fill it back up, and then I'll check back in. Also, real quickly, I just fed in here so there's a lot of food floating around, but I wanna show you what it takes to maintain a 50 gallon tank with about 20, at least 20 plecos, and some of them are pretty big, like the blue phantom plecos. I mean, you never really see them unless you come in and hang out at night, but, uh, this hang on back filter has to be cleaned every single day. So this is one day. And here's the other one. That is just one day of fish poop. And you know, 
other stuff. Mainly fish poop though. So this is definitely a tank that I still have to maintain every day. I can't let this one go. There's just too much at risk, too many plecos. And not saying that my other tanks aren't awesome, but as you can see, they all have plants in them. They're gonna scoop up the nitrates. I still have to do water changes about every three days and change those filter cartridges every day. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, there we go. New polyfill, working perfect. You see the water looking pretty good. We also got little Steen's tank filled back up. And you know, it only took me a year or however long this tank has been set up. But little Steen always hangs out over here, and I don't know why I put the hang on back filter on this side. So, being the genius that I am, it only took me a year to figure out to move it over here. So, now going forward, if I can not have glare, we should get better shots, especially when he's eating his snails, because this is the only place that he eats snails. He will literally wait until a snail crawls over here before he eats them. I don't get it, but this is his spot. So, now. We should get better shots of them. All right, so there you have it. Little Steen, some quick tank maintenance and an update for you. He's doing great. He's putting on weight. And I wonder if he has any idea that he's about to get an extra 200 gallons to swim in. I don't know. I'd be excited if I was him. And don't forget the new schedule is gonna be videos on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday with the live stream always being on Monday. I don't know if I like it, but I'll give it a couple weeks and see how it goes. Might change it up again, I don't know. But thanks again for watching and I'll see everyone next time.